Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Gabby and today we are doing the best super affordable fragrances for the summertime. I already did a video with celebrities, designers, another one with um, niche indie designers but private collections but not all of them are that affordable and I do believe that you can smell amazing on a budget, you don't have to splurge I do like to splurge, okay, but that is just me. But I do have in here 10 fragrances that obviously are in my collection. I love them and I feel like they're absolutely amazing for the summertime. Um, all of them, I'm pretty sure all of them are under 25 pounds, which is great. And I'm not talking about like a small 30 ml, no, no. The big bottle, it's under 25 pounds. Um, if you were, if you live somewhere where maybe you don't have a proper summer and you just don't need I uh, know 10 20 fragrances uh, that are expensive and they're like more like summery like holiday thing um these are just perfect like if you want to take this uh, these fragrances on a holiday if like I said you have winter most of the time it's raining most of the time and then you have one two days when it's sunny you can wear these ones and you don't have to break the bank. So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to do a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. Usually I'm starting with like the most affordable perfume, but right now like everything is pretty affordable. So we're just gonna go random, okay? The first one. I completely forgot I have this one. This one is Pepe Jeans uh, by Pepe Jeans. Basically, for me it smells like a pina colada without being too sweet. It has a vodka note and I'm gonna, gonna getting that, but it is like the best way possible like it, it doesn't smell like i know you spill some vodka on you it smells like a pina colada like a fresh pina colada you know the one that is not super super sweet it's it's perfect for the summer time it doesn't really last though like that's the main issue with this perfume it doesn't really last i absolutely love the bottle like just look at that i know it's kind of like weird because it's pina colada but then you have a martini glass but it's just beautiful. I've never tested anything else from Pepe Jeans. I know they have some other cool bottles. They have like a blue green one and then they have the um, like pink red with the black um, glass. I, I really want to try them. I really want to try them. They didn't really have the best reviews so that's why I just stick with this one. For me, like I said, this was like a fresh pina colada. That's it. Pepe Jeans uh, by Pepe Jeans. Next we have I Love Love by Moschino. This perfume, it's very similar to Light Blue Intense from Dolce & Cabana. This one just has like an, a mandarin orange note in the opening and it's not just in the opening, it stays like the whole time. Sometimes I do prefer um, Light Blue Intense, sometimes I kind of prefer this one because it has like I said that mandarin orange in the opening. And it's just beautiful. It's like fresh, orangey, lemony. It doesn't smell like clean product. The bottle is absolutely horrible, uh, but the scent is good. It lasts on the skin, so yeah, I really can't complain. It's refreshing. It's everything that you need for the summertime. I love love from Moschino. Next, talking about lemony scents. A Girl in Capri from Lanva. This one... It's like fresh cut lemon. Look at that mist. I mean, this, this thing is like 20 pounds. And look... Like, why other perfumes, why other brands can't do this? It's fresh cut lemon, and then it's getting, I don't know, a bit like herbal. You're getting this like lemon and a bit of tin. I don't think it has any tea in it. But it's getting a bit herbal in the dry down. I do really like it. Again, this one doesn't really last on the skin, um, but it's super refreshing. When it's super hot outside, you can put this one on and you're good to go. Um, yeah, I do really like it. And I like the bottle, actually. So, a green Capri from Lanva. Next, we have Rihanna Reb Flor. I I really don't know how to describe this one. It's like super warm. Like, it's not refreshing like the other ones. This, is, this one is more like your, I'm on a holiday and I'm going to the club. Like, sexy holiday scent. I love it. It has a hibiscus note. It has some coconut in there. It has like quite a lot of notes. 
and it has a bit of everything it's like sweet but it has something fresh it has something like floral but then it has something fruity it's it's unique like for being a celebrity scent this one is pretty unique i've never smelled anything like this and it smells extremely tropical yeah you can't go wrong honestly like the small bottle it's what 11 pounds 12 pounds you can't go wrong just test it honestly just test it um i love it absolutely love it um i didn't take it on my last holiday with me but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna take it um on my next one so red floor by rihanna next not necessarily a perfume but it's a body mist but i love it uh Sol de janeiro coco cabana it smells like coconut it's delicious it's beautiful it's a body mist but has decent lasting power and projection especially for a body mist it's just good it's just good that's it um everything expensive the big box of the 90 ml it's 18 pounds so you can't go wrong coco cabana Sol de janeiro next we have something that is not necessarily gonna be for everyone pink sugar creamy sunshine um I've used pink sugar, okay, I'm guilty of that. I've used it like numerous bottles for years. And this one, it gives a DNA. It's just not as sweet, maybe it's still super sugary. If you never tested pink sugar, I mean, how can you not test pink sugar? Like pink sugar was Bacara Rouge right now. That's like what pink sugar used to be. This one has kind of this like creamy, orangey. Not sure if it has like tiari flower, but it kind of smells like it has tiari flower. It's basically the holiday version of pink sugar. But again, very, very sweet. I'm saying this is not going to be for everyone because it's very sweet. Um, you need just a bit because you might choke people out. Like, don't, don't overspray this thing. But I do like it. Like, I genuinely do like it. And I feel like it's a difference between this one and the original. I had a Berry Blast, I think it was called. And with that one, it smells like way too similar to the original. This one, I'm pretty sure it has Thierry Flower. It must have Thierry Flower. Or like, it's not Jasmine. No, it's, for me, it's Thierry. Like, it smells like pink sugar with Thierry. And then something like orangey in there. I do really like it. I do really like it. And yeah, it's like super, super affordable. Uh, pink sugar creamy sunshine from Aqualina. Next we have Amo Ferragamo Flowerful. Okay, I do love Amo Ferragamo, just the original. That one smells like an orange creamsicle. This one is the fresher version. It has a yuzu note. You're still getting a bit of orange creamsicle. It's not as strong as in the original. You're mostly getting um, yuzu. It's basically this fruity, citrusy scent. Yeah, it's fruity and citrusy. It's a no-brainer for me. You can see that I've used quite a lot. Uh, when I don't know what to wear, when I don't want my fragrance to be too citrusy or too sweet or too fruity or too floral, I just go with this one because it's citrusy, it's fruity, it's just perfect. You can't go wrong. Um, Amo Fragamo Flowerful. Next one we have, let's talk about this one. Signorina Ribelle from Salvatore Ferragamo. Again, this one smells like like a vanilla ice cream with some like fruity things going on. Don't think like um, super, super gruma, like proper vanilla ice cream. Like if someone would ask me how this one smells, I might say vanilla ice cream, but I might not say that. What I mean is, it's sweet. Obviously, it's vanilla, but it's not like extremely sweet, but it has this freshness. It has this, this thing that's almost like cold. So that's why for me, it kind of smells like vanilla ice cream. I do really like it. It doesn't really last. The bottle is cute. Um, yeah, it's just a nice one for the summertime. You can overspray it, you know, especially for going out, maybe in the summertime, if you like vanillas, uh, but maybe you're usual vanilla fragrance is too sweet is too much check this one out signorina ribelle from salvatore ferragamo next we have nina ricci uh shant Extaz, i think it's uh, it's called this is such an interesting scent because it's aquatic and then it has caramel like what 
how how is that even possible let me spray some let me spray here yeah like you're getting this like salty water like salty aquatic like the caramel is not salted okay that aquatic note it's salted it generally smells like the beach and then you're wearing a caramel scent and then mix together and it works it generally works like i really really like this one i've been wearing it as you can see again during the summertime when i'm going on holidays um i love it it's just perfect not necessarily a scent i would wear i know going to work going to do some shopping not necessarily for that for, but for holiday it's just perfect uh, nina ricci sean dextas and the last one that we have in here is roberto cavalli gemma di paradiso this one is this beautiful jasmine with pear with some amber in the dry down it's i know it's fruity but floral but sexy in the same time it's so good it's just so good and um I, like i said i do believe you're getting this one for like 25 pounds something like that the bottle is beautiful normally i hate green like i really don't like green but i do really like this bottle um i don't feel um, like it looks cheap or anything like that even though the fragrance is cheap uh, but it, it smells it generally smells beautiful and it doesn't smell like too immature it doesn't smell too juvenile um it's just a beautiful scent so yeah the last one that we have in here is from roberto cavalli and this one is gemma di paradiso and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite cheapy what is your favorite affordable fragrance that you're wearing this summer and yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one bye bye